What up, though, man? It's James Vergado of God Over Genius, man. Here to give a recap of the Olympics, man. Man's basketball. Team USA defeated Serbia, man, 110-84. to Man, let's get into it, man. So, check this out. The Olympics is an exciting time, especially basketball. Because of what the 92 Dream Team did and how iconic that team was, they've been trying to see what will come close. Uh, I don't think this team is it. Even though they won the day and beat uh, Serbia, the game started off pretty shaky. Serbia got out to a fast start. I think it was a turnover on the first possession because uh, Team USA won a tip-off. But things changed rapidly once Kevin Durant came off the bench. And he, he didn't miss a shot in the first half. And uh, he ended the game with, let's see, let's check the box score. I think he ended the game with around 23 points, something of that nature. 23 points, man, out of 17 minutes. Wasn't no need for him to play in the third quarter because, the fourth quarter, because the game was over with after the third. As a matter of fact, that was the strongest uh, quarter for Team USA. Uh, LeBron James, he had 21, um, but the biggest story of the game was uh, Kevin Durant, man, coming off the bench, man, shredding Serbia with threes and, and, and contested shots, open shots, pull-up shots, fadeaway shots. For, for someone who didn't play in none of the preseason games, haven't played 5-on-5 five five since April, he came out looking like he just won the NBA Finals and eclipsed another MVP. Uh, tremendous performance by the Reaper, man. Mr. Easy Money. So many nicknames for the Slim Reaper known as Kevin Durant. The biggest story of this game is uh, the fact that Jason Tatum didn't play a minute. I don't know what was going on. I saw Steve Kerr interview right before I watched the game. And in so many words, he was basically like us. He was like, I don't know what happened with that. He was like, uh, I'm an idiot for not playing Jason Tatum. But he said Jason Tatum is a professional. He handled it well. And uh, the only thing that Steve Kerr said that made sense in his defense as to why Jason Tatum didn't play is that it's not the NBA format, meaning 48 minutes. It's like eight-minute quarters. It's not a lot of time, you know, to, to play. Durant was on fire. Like, it, it, he would have been a fool to take Durant out. And the biggest place for me for with Durant was as the second quarter was closing, getting ready to end the half, the first half I'm speaking of, it, it got down to like five seconds or something like that. And uh, Team USA called a timeout. And LeBron made a crazy pass to Durant, man. An off-ball uh, catch that Durant made. And he he hit the shot to end the half. And that just showed the elite IQ of LeBron, and which is why I would want LeBron to play point guard. I would put LeBron at point. And that's another point I want to make about Team USA something that I noticed about this matchup. It, Steve Kerr did say that as well in regards as to why Jason Tatum didn't play. I still feel like Tatum should have played in the fourth quarter because the game was decided already. But uh, matchup-wise, that is a big factor. And Durant is a cheat code. I was tweeting the game live, and I had already said when he entered, bro, it's nobody that can match up with Durant. And when you got Durant and Braun on the floor at the same time, man, it's going to get chaotic defensively, you know what I'm saying? Because the length that they possess and, and you can shoot from anywhere on the court, you got to respect wherever Durant's at. And that just opened things up for the rest of the team. And B, I don't, I don't like MB starting. I feel like they should start AD and let MB come off of the bench. MB out there looking like Roy Hibbert. And MB is my dog. I feel like he should have won like two or three MVPs, even though he got one. But and beat my dog, but he not looking right out there. I, I think AD needs to start, and I believe at some point they're going to have to make that adjustment. As long as KD stay healthy, I think KD will continue with his offensive proudness that we've seen against Serbia because I don't I just don't think nobody can match up with him and Braun out there at the same time. Let's see. Steph had 11 points. Drew, uh, Drew Holiday had 15. Devin Booker had 12. Devin Booker started off real solid in the first quarter, and he kind of cooled off. But uh, I see Devin Booker having a breakout game. He was um shoot, he hit four threes, and that's that's very exceptional because he we all know he got an offensive bat. But when you on a team with this much talent, you your sacrifices have to get made because there's so much talent on the floor. I think uh, I think I think Team USA uh. 
shouldn't 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 be cocky and they don't have this sold up because Jokic Jokic got set for quite some time too. And when he when he sat down, that's when Team USA really propelled on the scoreboard. But Jokic still had 20 points, four steals, eight dimes, five blocks. He could have had more assists, but they was missing some shots. Some some shots just didn't go in for uh, Serbia, and that's how it goes. And Team USA may face that same challenge. I'm almost certain they will. And what happens when you can't get the ball in the basket? You really find out how 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 much someone's gonna dig deep to you get creative. Well, uh, creating momentum offensively, but it was a decent game, man. Uh, the biggest storyline of this game by far was Kevin Durant coming off the bench, uh, making the first eight, eight or nine shots, and then you know, Jason Tatum not playing. I think the next game for t Team USA is on the thirty first versus uh, I don't know who they play next. I just uh, South Sud Sudan, and they almost lost to them about one point in in the preseason. That's going to be a great game. That's going to be a goodie. But they're gonna come with it, I believe, this time and not and not play around. And I remember they said with it with it not being enough minutes as far as compared to the NBA, you really don't have the era to make mistakes. You gotta you can't get off to no slow start. You gotta try to get it rolling and get it going immediately on the tip off. You can't play around with these people, man. These people are skilled and they wanna win for real. They wanna have bragging rights. Man, that's my recap, man. Of uh, the United States defeating Serbia 110 to 84, man. If you made it this far to the video, I want to say thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, man, to the God Level Genius YouTube channel. I am James Vergato, and as always, be God Level. The genius is in you. God Level Genius.